Not too long ago, Nintendo released a new trailer for their upcoming Metroid title for the Nintendo Switch, titled Metroid Prime 4. So let's take a look at the trailer and see what secrets and hidden details we can find. So right off the bat, we can see the Nintendo Switch logo, so it's definitely safe to say that this game is coming out for the Nintendo Switch and won't be delayed for another 6-7 to seven years to come out on the console after it. So shortly after the Switch logo goes away, we have a fade in from black that appears to show stars out in space, along with some smoky blue nebula farts or something. Does this mean that this game will be heavily influenced by e-cigarettes? Will we finally get the official Nintendo licensed Metroid e-cigarette? Could this game have the first appearance of the Galactic Vape Federation nation? One can only hope. Also, if you notice at the bottom left corner, we see the ESRB rating, which is going to be RP for role-playing. So I'm excited to know that this is going to be the very first role-playing Metroid game in the history of Metroid. As you can notice, the screen is starting to get a lot more bluish. Now, if you have a keen eye, you'll start to notice an image form in this bluish cloud-like substance. Still don't see it? Well, allow me to trace it out for you, because I know it might be a little hard for some to see. But as you can see, it forms the screw attack symbol. So we're definitely, definitely getting a Metroid game. Does this also confirm the screw attack for Metroid Prime 4? Now right after, we see a large black object zoom into the screen. So the large black object seems to be a number 4. What could this mean? Will this have 4 player co-op? You can see the blue gas clouds start to form around the number 4, signifying that this is important. Is this the return of Phazon? Was Dark Samus really not defeated in Metroid Prime 3? And finally we have the title reveal. Metroid TM4 Prime. Is this the long awaited sequel to Metroid Prime 3 we've all been waiting for? Or could this be something different? Lastly we're shown the Nintendo logo, which confirms that this game is being produced by Nintendo. Well I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you saw something that I missed in my analysis, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.